What are you bringing to the table today? All right, so I'm Joan and I'm the owner of Wentworth Homestead. Uh, and I've got a little bit of everything. Uh, I've got uh, homegrown uh, dried culinary herbs over there. Uh -huh. I've got um, wire wrapped uh, jewel pendants. Uh, eggs, I've got medicinal uh, salves over there. All of those are made with plants either foraged on my property or homegrown on my property. Uh -huh. um, safe for use on children, animals, elderly, all hyperallergenic. Um, and then I've got some homemade wood stain and calligraphy and painting. Eggs. Oh, okay. So the this stuff, what does it cure? Or what's it for? My medicinal yeah. stuff? So I've got one that's good for cracked hands and feet. Mm -hmm. um, that is also good if you have uh, arthritis in your joints and pain. Uh -huh. um, I've got one that works like a medicinal neosporin, and I've had people um, come back and tell me that it works pretty quick. Really? For cuts, yeah. wow. scrapes. I've had people who use it on cows, dogs. What's it made out of? Um, it is, that particular one is made from, um, let's see, chamomile, St. John's wort, goldenrod, and depending on the time of year, it has purple dead metal. I've always heard there's a plant out there to cure every ailment that man can come up with. Absolutely, there is. You just not <laughs> got to know how to use it. Yeah, I know where sure. they are. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, what, what, what is this whole shindig here? Can you? So this right here is the Amy Mel Trading Post. It is the brainchild of Jake Jacobs uh -huh. um, because he wanted to bring back what Thomas Amy did back all the way in 1770. Seventeen eighty. Seventeen eighty one. Yeah. You're, you're in the right neighborhood. In there. <laughs> um, and that's pretty much what we're doing. We okay. are the Amy, Amy Mill Trading Post. Um, we are here second Saturday of every month until mm -hmm. June, and then we will be here two Saturdays a month from mm -hmm. then until October. Okay. And uh, this is the first one of the year. This is second the second one. one, second one, of the year. one of the year. Okay. Yep. How's the crowd been so far? It's been pretty good. As the day goes on, we're getting more and more people in here. Mm -hmm. um, even though it's a wet and dreary day. Yeah. But fixing the, the drops are fixing the drops to I, fall. I, pretty much. They're fixing to come out <laughs> the sky for sure. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for talking to me. What's your last yeah. name? Wentworth. Joan Wentworth. Yep. W-E-N-T. W-O-R-T-H. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yep. We are Christiana Acres. Okay. Our, that's our homestead over in Mooresburg. Oh. What's, how do you spell that? C H R I S A N N A. Ah, where did that name come from? That is a name that my father coined before he passed. Uh, this is Rex Anna, and I'm Chris. Hi. He combined the two and came up with the name Chrisanna Acres. Oh, okay, that's cool. All right, so what do you guys got today? We have all sorts of canning and woodworking and salves. Is this from last year's crops? The mm -hmm. canned stuff? Yep. Got green beans, jams, jellies. Mm -hmm. Is this stuff that you grow on your on your mm -hmm. property? Mm -hmm. All right, and it looks like you do some woodworking also. Yeah, yep. most of the woodworking starts out as rough cut maple. Ah, from your property? No, we do not. Um, I purchased about twelve hundred board feet of maple, uh -huh. rough cut. Okay, and I mill it down and shape it in my shop. Oh, okay. And what is your all's names? I'm Chris. This is Roxana. How do you spell Roxana? R E X A. Okay. Can I have your last name also? Ogle. O G E L E. Okay. Elizabeth Kennedy and Marsh. M A R S H. Yep. M H A A M A H A N. O N. O N. Okay. Do you all live in Rogersville? Sir Gonsville. Sir Gonsville. Okay. Are you live in the city? Not in the city. Okay. But I have been going to the meetings. Are you the lady that was uh, standing up? Uh, talking I, about the ordinance. I was quoted in the Rogersville. Okay. Area. Yeah, that was Rick, uh, Christian. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All righty. Well, I appreciate you talking to me. Uh, let me just get a quick few facts that I, that I, I didn't get on my recorder. Sure. All right. So how many chickens do you have at home? Uh, 25 to 30. Okay. And how many how many eggs do they produce? Uh, two to three dozen a day. And uh, how much are you charging for your chickens? These are uh, $4 each. How, how old are they? These are about eight weeks old. Eight weeks old? Yeah. Okay. Fully feathered. And so, did you did you say how many eggs that you produce with your chickens in a like over a period of time? Yeah, so two to three dozen a day. That's a lot. Yeah. Because my friends have eggs, chickens, and they don't make that many. Yeah. Are they like brown? They're uh, brown, blue, green, green, yeah. white. 
I, I yeah. love fr fresh grown ch eggs. They're so much better. I agree. Uh, they just, they're like richer. I don't know what it is. They yeah. definitely taste yeah, better. The store -bought yeah, the store bought ones are like weak. I don't know. It's just, yeah. I don't know how to describe it. They're made with, like, they clean them with chemicals. Too, yeah. So. And eggs are real absorbent, so whatever you wash them, it's got. It goes inside them? Yeah. 